CNN's poll guy was on TV just today and saying, hey, you know, like one of the things that you got to keep in mind is that not everybody is so forthcoming about who they're going to vote for, especially when it comes to the Trump voters. They tend to be a little bit on the silent side. Now, is all of that baked in? Maybe, maybe not. I don't think, you know, I don't think it is. Like when I look at these polls and I see that people are not answering truthfully, I, you know, I go back to what happened in 16. So if you go back to what happened in 16, you got to keep in mind that Donald Trump is way ahead of where he was in 16 or where he was in 2020. And this is what was outlined today on CNN. Let's take a listen. I think there are a lot of folks such as myself who think that Donald Trump's unpopularity is baked in. But here's the deal. If you believe that Donald Trump has somehow become less popular over time, let me change your mind about that. In fact, he is more popular at this point in the campaign than he was at this point in the 2020 campaign or the 2016 campaign. Look, he's still underwater, right, with a negative nine point net favorability rating. But that is higher than he was in 2020 at minus 12 points when he nearly won. And it is way higher than the minus 27 net favorability back in 2016 when he did win. So I think there's this real question in Kamala Harris's mind, in the campaign's mind, why is Trump more popular now than he was at this point in 2020 and 2016? And I think that is why you're seeing the sharpening attacks because they want to put him back down to here, yeah. or even there's no way that they're necessarily going to back down to here, but they want to make Trump more unpopular than he is right now because he's more popular now than either point in 2020 or 2016. So this could be what they're seeing with regard to move, Donald Trump, but is, could it have something also to do with what they're seeing with, their, with Kamala Harris or something? Yeah, look, Kamala Harris is more popular than Donald Trump. But Kamala Harris had her popularity rising once, of course, she became the presumptive Democrat nominee. Look, she was at minus 15 points back on July 17th, then minus four points on August 17th, then one point on September, plus one point. She was actually in positive territory a month ago, but she has fallen back down to minus one. The momentum of Kamala Harris has stalled. And I think they feel like they have to change something that's going on in their campaign because they were seeing a rise and now it has stalled out. Look, she's still more popular than Trump. But look, Joe Biden was more popular than Trump, much more, and barely won. And Hillary Clinton was more popular than Donald Trump and lost. Being more popular than Trump isn't enough. She wants to continue to see her fiber abilities rise. But in fact, they're going in the wrong direction. Ah, they're going in the wrong direction. And so I don't think any amount of podcast interviews or Fox News interviews, I mean, that one was just a total disaster. We talked about that yesterday, did we not? Whew, I've never seen anything like that. Anyway, um, she, she's very bad. She's just very bad at her job. So they get themselves a lemon, okay? They got themselves a lemon. They had a lemon, a really ripe old lemon, and now they got themselves a young lemon. It's still a lemon, all right? Whether it's Joey or whether it's Kamala, you still got yourselves a yellow lemon. And it's really not going to fly. And so they're looking at this. They're like, what do we do? What do we do? You heard that the CNN guys say, they don't understand. How can this be? Kamala's like, well, how can it be? Like, how can I be less popular than Donald Trump? What is the issue? What is the issue? My favorite soundbite. But it's men. I mean, I think the real right. the real struggle for the Harris campaign is young men, older men, men of color, white men. Men, okay, 